In this lesson, we're going to introduce some of the basic mechanisms of programming in Java. Object-oriented languages have a special way of breaking down large programs, but the elements that we break programs into, unsurprisingly these are called objects, are coded using the same procedural tools that are familiar from other languages. These tools are variables, looping and conditions, along with declaring and invoking methods. To introduce these, let's look at a simple example. This one is in the package temperature. The first thing is that Java programs generally start at a method called main, so this is where we're going to begin the program's execution. The very first thing it does is to declare a small array of temperatures. So temperatures refers to all of these values, and temperatures with a subscript on it in square brackets, which is what Java uses for accessing elements of arrays, will refer to one particular element of this. What we then do is to iterate over the elements of that array one at a time. All arrays start at the index 0 in Java, and they all know their length, and they actually have this variable called length. So in this case, there are four elements, so temperatures.length will be four, and as long as i is less than that, because these are obviously numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, then we can go and examine the temperature for that particular temperature. Examine temperature is a method. Method is the word that object-oriented programs use in place of function or procedure. This method is declared as returning void, which really means it doesn't return anything. That kind of makes it more of a procedure than a function. We pass in the temperature to it that we want it to look at. It then prints out a message that says temperature is temp Celsius, and then it goes on to call another method this one is actually a function type method because it returns, up here is the definition of it, it returns an integer value. The integer value is computed based on the conversion for Celsius to Fahrenheit temperatures, and when it's done that computation, it returns that temperature. So here we now have another variable, again an integer type, a simple integer this time, that describes that Celsius temperature in Fahrenheit. So then it prints out the Fahrenheit temperature, and then it uses conditional statements, the if statements in Java. There are others, but this is one of them. To say if it's less than 45 degrees, that's chilly. If it's more than 80, then it's pretty warm. And otherwise, that's nothing special. So it's a very simple little program. It's not wildly exciting for sure, but it's hard to be exciting in a very brief example. But it shows you the kinds of things that we're going to be looking at for the rest of this chapter. So to recap, we've taken a first look at the entry point for a Java program, how to declare variables and methods. Remember that's the name that OO languages use for functions and procedures. We've looked at arrays, loops, and conditional statements. But remember, it's okay to be a little fuzzy about much of what has happened here. This is just an introduction. A outline of where we're going next. The rest of this chapter's purpose is to lead you through these techniques in more detail.